spot. I'm not You're good so on the good spot. spot. Oh my gosh. This is you're a pain in the ass. I'm so good on the You're spot. You're a pain in the ass. I don't. That's. I was digging this. And you liked a list. I was digging the list. Let's talk about this. And she just hits the play. play I'm like, part. that's like too much talking. Let's just do it. <gasps> Hi guys. Hi. Where do I look? Here. Yeah, over here. here. Should I put a post-it here? No, I'll because I'll still thing. look at. I'll still put the pink thing. Look, look at, at the, the pink. pink. Hi, you guys. Hey guys. <laughs> Jessica in the house. Yeah. 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 Live from New Orleans. Mm -hmm. So um, we are gonna take a second and invite some people real quick. Let's see who we should invite. I, we were going to do like set our phones next to each other and broadcast from each of our pages because sometimes, oh, Sarah's like, come home. <laughs> sometimes, um, you know, notifications and we don't have the same friends. And then I realized that I had posted a video on our team page doing our swatches and there was background music and I put myself in jail. So in jail. I won't be able to post any videos for a couple days, which is okay. So I tagged her yes. in this video. Mm -hmm. And so our goal when we were talking earlier, we're like, you know what? Like there are so many things that we love about Unique and about this business, but um, we haven't talked about it together ever. No, ever. This is our first time. Two years. So it's the Jessica Cole show. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I got rain or something on me. So anyway, we were going to write a nice list down and we were going to tell you all the things that we loved about this business, but I thought it'd be way more fun because I just love like mixing it up a little bit. And putting Jessica on the spot. <laughs> and putting Jessica be like, on the oh, let's spot. see what comes out of her mouth. Because it's so much more fun. <laughs> um, if I interviewed her and then she can interview me. And Same then, question. And then you guys can interview us if you have questions. Same questions, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'll go first. Okay. And so we were going to tell you all the perks about the business. And we're going to write a nice little list. But I figured it would be way better for you just to get like a really candid view. Because I know that we probably both have people who want to know more about what we do, are afraid to ask, or you think you have all these preconceived notions about what it is we do and why we do it. Like um, a cult, maybe. Yeah. I mean, like maybe. we sign up for a mascara Someone and we was got talking a best friend. About, about <laughs> like um, inserting chips instead of badges mm. next year. Mm. Yeah. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you will absolutely find like your tribe and a best friend. Mm -hmm. Like I guarantee And you it. might want to get tattooed with them. Yeah. Hold on. You, have to, you need to get another one. Like maybe um, purple status, <laughs> purple status retreat. When we Would go back fun? to we Utah, we'll go back to the same place, mm -hmm. and we'll say we're back. So if you have any questions as we're going through, drop them down in the comments, or if you have just any commentary, you know we like it and uh, it makes us laugh. So I want to know from you, what are your top three favorite things about being a presenter with Unique? Like, why do you do what you do? That is super hard. First That's off, I gave it to you. Sorry. First off, very hard. <laughs> And there's more than three. Yeah, but you can only Way three. more than three. Okay, top. Like right now for me personally, mm -hmm. I'm at home with my babies 24 seven and all I need is this. Mm -hmm. So in between while the girls are bathing, I'm here or they're playing or I'm cooking breakfast, my phone's there. I can like the convenience of it being here so mm -hmm. I can still be there. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Okay. Okay. Number one. So ease of doing business. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna write it down. Yeah. Because it's yeah. Because I think we should compile super easy. like a thoughtful and, list. And I mean for you, and I'm not, I'm not even gonna answer. This is just <laughs> for me. See, this is yeah, for me. Okay. Number two. Um, I didn't know what the heck I was doing when I first started. Like so, the ease of not not having to be like a salesperson or having sales experience or knowing how to do makeup professionally that was because or videos like doing this professionally mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. sort of jump in and sort of figure it a lot for figure it out as I go okay that's number two that so I love it's about still that. easy to do business yes it's still okay. easy <laughs> that's, I'm, I'm, that's your number one I'm and two say I'm well yeah okay well, well no that's skill set okay skill set so you don't have to have any special skills right okay right I mean we, I can skills. personally overcomplicate it because that's just my personality sometimes. Like, I want to do too much or try this. And like, but really, it's basic. Like, okay. don't overcomplicate it. So anybody so can do anybody it. Anybody can do it. No special skills right. necessary. Because I had, I've never done, you know, some people have experience in this yeah. kind of business. No direct marketing. I've never had anything. Okay. Okay, number Amber three. says she loves it. Amber. Hi, Amber. Hi, Amber. I didn't find your friend. Hopefully, I'll see her tonight. Uh, we still have to go get ready for our ball. Yes. So, hopefully, I see her. Ball. 
Okay. I'm excited. Number okay. three. Number three. What's your next favorite? Um, it's really pushed me out of my comfort zone. It's made me ask myself questions that I've never thought about even asking. Or, like or courage to, like, to claim goals, to say that I can do certain things that I never thought that was possible kind of thing. And it can be something as small and simple or something huge, like huge company. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just doing, I'm being very vague. Don't be vague. They like you when you're real. Remember, okay, well, they this morning, our weakness. This morning, we were at um, general session, our last general session, and it was the purple status. They were doing the parade, and, and they were talking about the retreat, and I reached over to her. There was Stephanie in between. I said, you can be there next year. She goes, excuse me, we? I mean, you? You mean we? <laughs> and, and she goes, stop it. You know, like, she didn't, she did not go like this. It's okay to be scared. Or it's okay. I said, get she your goes, head straight, Yeah, girl. get your head straight, girl. <laughs> You're going to do this with me. I'm going to do it by myself. I'm like, so that. Okay. Yeah. So the but, ability to see that you can do more than what you immediately think you can do. Yes. Okay. Yes. And I'm learning every single day to sort okay. of embrace that and to like, go ahead, Jessica, put you in her words, put, put your big girl britches on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so what has that what has this business given to you? Like your favorite. Like your your what are we doing? You are looking at are oh. my favorite. <laughs> like, what am I missing? How cool is that? We got our own little TV show right now. We have a freaking TV oh show. My gosh. Okay. Are you on my agra? How awesome is that? <laughs> no. I was like, what are we looking at? <laughs> You're like Oh, okay. There's somebody. No, I was you. You who? No, I'm just kidding. That's what I thought you were doing. I was like, what? Who's doing doing what? No. I sort of answered your question before you were even done. You were even done asking. Okay. So, I forgot my question because you distracted me. Me me too. I I sort of, (laughs) sorry. What's your favorite thing that you've gotten out of this business? Like, personally. Personally? Yeah. A best friend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A best friend. A bond. Yeah. Like we have a great connection. We had. We never. We didn't know each other before uh-uh. two years ago. Nothing. Like I didn't know that she was. Uh-uh. I didn't know this person. Uh-uh. Girl, she was missing out. On all this. <laughs> well, first off, she lived in Texas and yeah. I was in Florida. So our odds are of crossing paths in two of the very large states because it takes forever to get out of each state mm-hmm. is very slim. Yeah. So just a little history in case you're just tuning in. So we met each other last year for the first time here at convention. So if you missed that, <laughs> like the very first time we met, do you remember when you, when you went to hug me and I was so excited I made you drop your phone? Oh, phone. Going so on. <laughs> if any of you guys saw that, like we were over the phone like this, we're like, hi. <laughs> it's on the floor. Hi, girls. Hi. Well, first off, I'm on live. I'm like, is she ever going to freaking get out of the plane? I was like, I was on live for a long time. Yeah. I was the last one on the plane. Took forever to get up. I gotta see her. And so, like, it was kind of crazy because we're thinking we're gonna stay in a hotel room with like Like, a complete stranger. Never met her. I'm thinking (laughs) she sounds pretty normal, but like, I'm sure the Craigslist people did too. (laughs) So, I really know. If I don't come home, that's where I am. But it turned out we had the best time. Mm -hmm. So we're thinking about it today. How cool it was. Lacey says she remembers that. Um, How cool it was when we. When we came here for the first time, we were talking, Diana saw it too, we were talking about like where we were and where we are today. So I think, um, the, I don't even think we really realized it or even mm-hmm. thought about mm-hmm. it, you know? Mm-hmm. So there was a, a cool time last night, and this is for anybody, like this is just for anything. It doesn't have to be just about this business, you guys. But that's the cool thing I think about it is I have been able to have so many real life, like, Parallelisms. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is that word? Is that a word? It helps you. It oh, helps you. Like, okay, you can apply it to whatever's going on in your life, mm-hmm. whatever you're learning, because it's more, it's personal growth. Exactly. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like last year when we were here, well, we weren't here, we were in St. Louis, but we were just Jess and Nicole, hence the Jess Nicole. So now we came this year and we have our teams. Not, not our whole team. I mean, of course, everybody, you know, everybody has different lives and some can come and some can't but a lot of women made time to come and grow their business and make that decision this year and so it was beautiful we were sitting there at like not the same place but kind of the same you know just her and I 
And then all of a sudden it was her and I and all of these women. We were taking that picture and we were kneeling down doing yeah. that awkward pose because like, what do we do? But yeah. I turned around and they were standing. We were taking a picture. It was just such yeah. a surreal, it was like, wild. I choked up. It was wild. <laughs> it was so, crazy. like, you see these, this statistic, well, we'll get, get, I can't talk. Hi! You see these statistics about people in this business. And, um, you know, to be honest with you, I mean, I have a full-time job. So, it, it's a part-time job for me. You know, it's a hobby that I love and I get paid for it and I make amazing friendships and I help other women grow their business. And it's like, it's awesome to me um, but I don't work it full-time you don't work it full-time she works another job she's a mom like so we're not even putting a hundred percent of our time into it well a hundred percent of what we do well yeah you know like we don't have like 80 hours no. to give to this no, no. but whatever time you do dedicate yeah it's a hundred percent time of you know yeah that's a better way to say and that. an effort yes yes but we're having to like break our time up. Right. We're not doing it full time. Right. And right. in that like little bit of time that we're dedicating, look at what we've done. It's crazy. And so to look Exciting. back and go, wow, but for me, that's my biggest takeaway from this commission. I'm like, okay, what if I did just a little bit more? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. For you, same thing? Mm -hmm. oh, like, yeah. what if I did oh, yeah. a little There's more? There's always more that you can do. And mm -hmm. I, and, and I know that I can do. I know you can do. Mm -hmm. Cause I want to be here next year with a oh, ton more people. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. What about you? It's Answer these what questions. What was the question? Because it was our interview. Where's our Why am I awesome? What are the top three things about the business? Is that what the question? Yeah, top three things about the business. Okay, perks. so. Perks. Yes. So, my. Um, our personalities, if you haven't noticed, are very different. <laughs> like a lot. What is your personality? Like, what's your color personality? I think I'm a. I'm, I'm a mishmash. Tell them what two. that means, though, because I don't know if like, they know. Okay. She's very, she's very bold and honest, but so loving, but she's like, was it type A? Yeah, right? very type A. And me, I'm, I'm going to pet you a little bit, right? Yeah. And, and I'm, <laughs> and, and I'm, I'm going to teeter on the issue. I like, I feel like she's brought out more of that stronger, what I need, you know, of me. Right? She balances right. me out. Right. Yeah. Cause there's times when I'm like, I'm L you. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, no, you're you. So you it's know? like a yin and yang. And I'm like, you need to talk to Jessica. <laughs> Jessica needs to have a talk with you. Because some people do not work well with that. They they just don't. They don't work well with that. Oh, my God, can you just please remove your head and let's, like, put some big girl panties on and move forward. Some women do. I work really well with that. Like, spank me and let's go. Um, but we balance each other yes. out really nicely. So the things that she's getting are very similar to mine um, because number one my like my favorite thing about this business is the friendships and her but that is absolutely not at all why I started this business like at all um, and you guys know my story and kind of why I started but but at that point I made that decision to like really work it right it was all money for me I'm like I want extra money like if you give me an opportunity to make money like tell me how I have to do it and what I can make and I'm and gonna here go. you want to yeah I went and I want to win everything <laughs> like I don't even care what it is so for me that's my personality I'm very red type personality I'm very driven I'm goal oriented I want to win I like a challenge um, and so I like to figure out my own way through those things and find success and so when I started, it was absolutely not about the friendship or the fellowship or the fun. I mean, what's fun? Like, honestly, I had no idea when I started. Fun? I didn't have time for fun. I was too busy making money. And so it's been a really great thing for me to kind of balance myself out and realize that I need that. Like, it gave me something that I needed that I didn't even know I needed. Like I was all about the money and I was all about building an empire. And now for me, it's transcended into helping other women grow their empire because that helps me be successful no matter what. Mm -hmm. But like now I've changed. You saying that what I wanted was opposite or what I mm -hmm. had, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And, yeah. and, but you've pulled that, the money. I was like, mm -hmm. this is a real business. I can totally make money and I can totally do this. And I didn't even think about that mm -hmm. when I, when I joined, because that's not what I needed when I joined. Yeah. Um, so I think we pulled that out from 
from each other and our experience mm-hmm. with the business, which is awesome. Sort of balances our yes. own lives out, you know, mm-hmm. fills those pockets of what we needed or what we didn't even know we needed. Yeah. I call it my divine appointment. And I had no idea that I needed everything that I needed. Like it just kind of laid itself out there and through, um, you know, through, and it's down to like little things. Like mm-hmm. I am so motivated mm-hmm. when I see women on my team succeed. Mm-hmm. Like when I see them do something that they say they can't do or that they said they couldn't do at one point. And after I'm like, no, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> like you go do it right now. I want you to do it. I know you can do it. And they do it. And I see that, that look on their face mm-hmm. where they're like, I yes. totally did that. Like, yes. I did that. Like, I'm a badass. Like, I'm like, yes, you're such a badass. Like, <laughs> I'm so excited by that. Like, where are each other's biggest yes. cheerleaders? Yes. Like, yes. And then, I'm not and that, kidding. And that's how we run. Alex, like, that's you how know. we are together. Uh-huh. Like, we're like a big family. And like, our, for business purposes, our team, yeah. there's no financial gain whatsoever. Mm-mm. But she'll, you know, not everybody is attracted to the same style. Of, of teaching and learning and just personalities. So there could be someone on my team that is just so motivated by her and vice versa. And we can help each other's team flourish mm-hmm. and there's no, like, no. give me 20 bucks. Mm-hmm. There's none of that, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, there's none of that. It's genuinely support from your sideline sisters, your up, your downline, anywhere within the company. And you get that, especially when you come to convention and you learn that. Um, yeah. That's just... It's not like that, I don't think. I mean, honestly, really, I mean, I don't know a whole lot about other companies, but mm-hmm. I, I don't imagine that it's like that in other places. It's like you deal with the people that are, and for anybody that's not network marketing minded that doesn't understand how it works, you have somebody and then you have a team that they build and they build and they build. Like, I'm not going to talk to her. And so if you're not in that little thing, then it's like, I can't. Like, Did she have this? Yeah, in Texas. Yeah, it's like go talk to your sponsor. With us, I mean, we have yeah. girls message us that are not even yeah. in like in yeah. at all. We just like, guide you, you know, you. like you know. Mm-hmm. I I love it. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. like awesome. So, Everything is awesome. So what do you get? Like, let's go back to what do you get? My yeah. favorite, my favorite three things about this yeah. business, um, from like a business aspect. Number one, I have a sales background. Like that is my background. I could sell you your left shoe back to you. (laughs) I could, I could sell you anything. She could, anything. She could. But I don't sell in this business. Not, not at all. Like I don't sell. That's kind of crazy, right? I have a sales background, but I don't sell. What I do is I just share what I love, and that is like the easiest thing in the world for me. Because if I love my gel, my Melt RX gel that I'm using so I could actually wear shorts this weekend, which by the way I did. Um, If I like that, I'm going to tell you, I love that. If I love food, I'm going to tell you where to go eat. Like, so it's just naturally something that we all do. Just share your girlfriend. I'm like, if you go out and be like, oh my gosh, girl, I love your nail polish. Mm -hmm. What are you wearing? What are you getting? OPI. Oh my gosh, I love your sandals. Where'd you get them? (laughs) Exactly. It's the same thing. That's what we do. So I don't sell. No. So I sell at work. That's my full-time job. But in this business, I don't sell. So for me, if I were to tell you what the easiest thing about this is, is you're doing something that you do every single day already, but you're getting paid for it within three hours. So you need diapers, you need gas, you need groceries, you need to pay your light bill. It's a three hour time period. Not a month. Like something is sold from your back office and you get paid. So I think from, um, you know, from being a single mom too, like, um, I would have loved to have had this. Like, if I would have known there was a way to, to get it. Okay, so we're all instant gratification. Like, that's definitely this millennial generation anyway, but I'm instant gratification, and I'm not a millennial. I want things right now. Like, I want it right now. Um, if I would have known this was available 10, 11, 12 years ago, oh, my God. Like, there's no way. I would have never suffered, never, never given up anything. I would have made it happen. So I and love that. And there's no that. limit. Mm-mm. There's no limit. Be like, oh, okay, well, you made five hundred dollars. That's enough. No, nope. nope. you write your own paychecks. Yep. So ease of use, definitely for sure, because it's on your phone. I work it literally in the pockets of my day. So wake up in the morning, it's like a little bit of work there. Midday, maybe a lunch, a little bit of work there, and at nighttime. So in the time that I'm not working my full time job, I'm working this business and have grown this team. So, um, and you do the same, you're in your pockets of your day. So 
definitely ease of doing business. It's just from your phone. You don't need any fancy equipment. Um, you don't even you need a stand. IPhone. We have yeah. we have a water bottle right now holding it up <laughs> in our fake office. <laughs> two years <laughs> two years in, we don't have wait, fancy light. Wait, I mean, don't I do have like our thing. office. You didn't even notice like this this whole like stage thing this we did the, for you. The business. This is our office. Section. <laughs> Welcome to our little office. Scene. We've got we've got what is, kind of view is this? It's rainy. It's rainy view. <laughs> It's a rainy view. But don't we look very professional with our credenza? <laughs> we, we staged this for you. We're like, let's go borrow the office downstairs. Um, okay, so yeah, ease of use. What else did I say? Ease of use, you're not selling. So you're doing something you do every day already. And the other easy thing, oh, you don't have to carry inventory. Oh. I don't like carrying inventory. I oh. hate going to the post office. I don't, I, I swear to God, you'll get your order I don't even like <laughs> carrying my makeup bag that I'm going to use that day for refreshing, mm -hmm. although I don't really need it, but mm -hmm. I just don't, no. Yeah, no. So I don't like to do, I don't like to handle inventory, and I don't like auto ships. So for me, like those things, I, I have commitment issues. Those so things those that things say, oh, committed. it's free. Even the ones that are free that says, oh, 30 days free to her trial. Mm -hmm. When I click on that and I scroll down that they ask for that credit card information, I'm like, mm -hmm. no. Because that means you have to remember that you have to, to cancel. cancel it. And if you don't, then and you're charged for it. I always it. forget about it. And, and then, then when you try to dispute it, you just lose that. And they say, well, it's there. It's in the small print. Mm -hmm. There's no small print. There's no credit card that's going to auto charge. Mm -hmm. No. So no auto commit. No, yeah. no commitments. That's the thing. So you do what you <laughs> want to do when you want to do it. So real quick about the opportunity. There are two options that you have. Actually, there's three. Yeah. So you could buy yeah. the kit. And it and, is and what you can do one of these three and you can change your mind absolutely uh, tomorrow uh, six months two years later mm -hmm. so and you can flip flop them back because we saw a class here and one of the things that she says um, we create like a culture and an environment within our team to where if you are in a time in your life where you need yeah it's like a safe bench like if you need that time because you are going through something you can do you can that take time off right. Yeah, it's not like a real job. Right? You don't have to like and I get the FMLA out. It, like it was like a bench, you know, when you need some bench time, which is fine. It happens. Yes. Where's the presenter's kit? I'm trying to find it in this. Uh, probably catalog. in the end. It's gorgeous. Did catalog. you already see it? I missed it. Let's oh, see. I'm going to try and show you the presenter's kit because I want gorgeous. you guys to see. What is see. it like? 400 and it right now, 35? Is no, it still 35 or right is it 405? Now, it's 465 right now. 465? What yep. else went on back order? They're putting the they're putting the um, uh, instead of the rose water, they're putting the nighttime cream. Hi, I can't find it. I don't know where it is. Okay, so we'll we'll post it later. But yeah. anyway, the presenters kit right now you have three options. So you can get the kit. It's ninety nine dollars. Like we said, no commitments, no auto ships, no renewals, no nothing. None get of the, the kit. Stuff. Then later, if you want to buy more makeup, you can get it and you can utilize your discount. Um, second option would be you want to join the makeup club because you buy a lot of makeup and instead of paying full price, you want to get it for a discount from yourself. Again, it's $99, no commitments, no auto ships, no nothing. And then when you want to buy, you buy from yourself and you get to utilize your discount. Uh, the third option is what we did. We decided that we wanted to buy the kit and we wanted to just try and see what we could do with this business. And in two years, she's in the top, what is what is green? Top 1%, top 2%. Top 2% of the company. And orange is top 1%. You guys. And together, what how, would what you, is that? What almost would you 500 of us together, if you look at the number. What are you at? We're at 195 on the gems. Uh, we're almost at 350. Two years. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. It's like 350 so women that want to try. That's, That's exciting. Try. So anyway, if you guys have questions, um, you can drop them here in the feed or you can private message us. Um, I'll share this on yeah. my timeline since yeah, I tagged you. You did? Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, whoever's friend you are on Facebook, um, we trust me, you will get both of us. We're a twofer. Yeah. We're two, two for, for one. We're typical. Is it so, almost happy hour time? I think it is. It's always happy hour. It's five o'clock my time. Because <laughs> I'm in Florida right now. always find a reason <laughs> for it to be happy <laughs> at an hour. Uh, but you will get both of us. You will get training from both of us. Um, if one of our team members decides that they want to share this video, um, I just ask that you guys get in contact with whoever it is 
that introduced you to this opportunity because no matter what, you're gonna have access to both of us and we really want to help the girls that are underneath us build their teams. Yeah, empower each other, yeah. empower them so to that like... they can grow too. Yes. And yes. we'll help you grow. They'll help you grow. We'll help you grow. You're not alone. You'll have a lot of people helping you because your success is ultimately our success. And um, hopefully you can see from what we were sharing is it's This is fun. so much fun. We need to like <laughs> do like a real one-on-one, -on -one, not the split screen. This like, is a real one-on-one. -on -one. I'm on your side. Like last time we did the same live, it was a split screen and I couldn't touch. No. I could touch. Yeah. Pat <laughs> me here. Pat me here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm sorry. Actually, a decent hair yeah, day today good. for it being like really, really nasty. clean. Well, it's clean. Yeah, it's not dirty. Like actually, though, it was dirty the other day, and I got a lot of compliments on it. <laughs> Thanks. I haven't washed it all day. All I didn't week. even brush it this morning. <laughs> That's awesome. So anyway, we're gonna go get ready for our ball, ball tonight. Yeah. I'm gonna use Exciting. the new makeup we got today. We got a lot. We got a lot of free makeup. Our new, new metallic splash. <gasps> it's really pretty. And it's. And the t consistency is different. I'm super dark. But you know what? I, did, I, I went on the boat. I don't know if you can see it. Look right here. I went on the boat before I came here, and then I spray tan. I think I was peeling. So I don't really know what I'm going to do about this. I kind of look we'll like a We'll figure it out. Leprosy. We'll probably do we some body it. bronzer. It's our tinted uh, lotion, and we'll give her, we'll, we'll fill in those spots. So I'm, I may be really dark again. You'll be, you'll be shimmery. Hi! Hey, there's one of our teenies. Yes. Come say hi. Come say hi and tell everybody what you love about the company. Yes. This is a little, a little testimonial. Huh? This, this is, is Stephanie. Hi, She's I'm imported Steph. from Colorado. Oh. <laughs> so what okay, I like. You have to tell them. Can you tell them what you do or no? Yeah. Okay. You can tell them what I do. So oh, yeah. um, I'm an investigator for a district attorney's office in Colorado. And She's I work with special victims units. So I work with all sex assault and child sex assaults. Um, so this really hits home for me because of what Unique does outside of just providing great makeup. I mean, it's their mission is just amazing and I love what they do. So I think that it's fantastic and I see how people um, are affected by being sexually assaulted and I see the process that they go through and I think that, that there's these options out there for them is amazing. So yeah. I love it. Did you know that their retreat was open to like the public? Because I didn't, I mean, no. I didn't know that at, at first when I started. I didn't. Yeah. No. So we talked about it again on our page the other mm -hmm. day, but again, I'm going to just, y'all are going to keep hearing me say it mm -hmm. from here on out because it is such a big part of why a lot of us do what we do. And why it's created. It says we love you, Steph. Yeah. You're absolutely amazing. Thank you. All right. I'll let them get back to it. I'm going to go get a beer. Okay. Oh, wait. We, we may need wine too. We'll be over there shortly. <laughs> um, that's such ready. a huge part, you guys, mm -hmm. of why we, why we do it. And it's a core, I mean, it is literally a core connector between, I don't know, I don't know a percentage because it's not something that they ask, but um, just in conversations with people, you can, mm -hmm. you can just mm -hmm. tell it's a, it's a core connector. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's one in four women are sexually abused before they're 18 and one in six men. It's something that's happening. Um, there are resources. It was really cool today. So Kara Diaguardi, if you guys know her, she, um, I didn't she's know a how incredible she was. I didn't either. She was amazing. <sighs> She's a songwriter, singer-songwriter, and she's won tons of awards and written music for tons of um, singers, Kelly Clarkson. I mean, like, I could, the list could go on and on. I think that she had, like, a hundred, yes. like, top ten songs. Anyway, so she, and she had said on stage that this is something, an issue that touches very close to her heart, and she's an advocate for it. And, um, and she was like, I am so amazed at what you guys do. So it's like, we're getting the word out there. And that's mm -hmm. one thing she said, she goes, encourage those conversations. And prevention. Yeah. Prevention. Cause I personally never experienced it, but I'm a mom. Yeah. You know, very little ones, you know, that really don't even know that such a thing exists. Yeah. So that we can, we can create that open dialogue and prevent the yeah. use of this foundation, that is just, that's the ultimate goal. Yeah. So for that one, in case you guys want more info, information on that one, that, must de blah, blah, blah. that one is defendinnocence.org. And so that geared more towards parents and caretakers of small children. So you can have these conversations and figure out how to have that dialogue that may seem uncomfortable or 
not age appropriate, right. it's gauged for specific ages. Right. So utilize the resources that are provided for you for free. Have those conversations. I can tell you it's not anything as a parent you ever want to talk about after, after. the fact. Mm -hmm. Like have those conversations before, give them the tools necessary um, so that that is something that you just prevent them from having to deal with later. But either way, we have one or the other dependent upon where you are in your life and What's what happened? situations yeah. have happened to you. So uniquefoundation.org, defendinnocence.org. We would love for you to share this video. Again, um, we encourage you to get with the presenter who shared the video with you. They think that you'd be amazing at this or they feel like maybe this would touch you in a personal way. Um, so we do look forward to to hearing from you guys, if you've ever been interested in, um, in talking with us about it, we do hope you send us a private message. And we're going to go and have some wine. Get some wine. And get fabulous. Get and fix my tan. <laughs> anyway, right. you guys, thanks for tuning in. And we hope you guys have an awesome night. Love you. Bye-bye.